Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a program launch calendar in Google Docs. Now, this works if you are a health coach, a life coach, or you are offering a course that requires planning a launch. This video is for you. Now, the reason why I'm using Google Docs is because it's simple to use. It is free. It is available if you have internet access. And there are some special features that would help you organize your launch planner. Let's get into what this looks like and I'll show you how to create this. This program launch calendar starts with a title. Then we have the name of the program. So this is just something you would type up and the planning dates. So we have the start dates. And with this, I have used a smart chip to insert the date. All you need to do is select the day that you're planning to start the program and the end date. So maybe you want to launch the program over two weeks. You can add the start dates and the end dates here to match your plan. And then we have the launch day. So you can select that and the program start day as well. So at a glance, you can see all of the dates that are relevant to your launch. Next, we have the table. Now this table is easy to create. All you have to do is insert table and select the rows and the columns as necessary. You would have to make certain adjustments to make it look like this. If you want to know how to do that, leave a comment in the comment area and I will guide you through that. We have our table. We have the number of weeks. So week one to week 10. And we have the activities, resources needed, due date, status, and notes. By the way, if you like this video and it's relevant to what you're looking for, don't forget to give it a like. If you want a copy of this template, I'll leave a link in the description box where you can download this template for free. All right. So here we have the columns. And if you were using this template, for example, you wanted to add a column, all you have to do is right click and insert column to the left or to the right. You could also do the same for rows. So maybe you want to launch over 12 weeks. You can add additional rows. All right. So the first column is a number of weeks. Then we have the activities and I've used check boxes because you can cross them off as you go through the different activities that you have. The next column is the resources needed. Here you can create a list of everything that you would need to complete your launch. The due date, I use the smart chip option because that makes it easy to select the dates for the different activities. So all of these activities, you can have one due date. If you had more than one due date and you wanted to tie each activity to a due date, you can just paste an additional smart chip date option. That way you can select the additional day for the additional activity. All right. So the next column is the status. Of course, you want to track the status of all the different activities for your week. We have not started in progress and complete. And in order to do this, we're using the drop down option. So if you don't know how to create this drop down option that we have here, I'll show you how to do it quickly. You have to go to insert and click drop down. Once you do this, you have several options. These are the ones I have already created for previous projects. You need to select new drop down. You can name the drop down and add the options not started in progress and completely the ones you don't want. You can change the colors. You can change the order and hit save. And you have something that looks like this. If you wanted to edit this, click on plus add slash edit option. That way you can add a new option, delete an existing option, change things around as you need. The last section is a note section here. You're writing down free text notes. Okay. And then we have the next table here, which continues the week seven through 10. I think this is helpful if you want something that's low tech, but also works efficiently. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a like and don't forget to check the description box below for this template and other resources that I have available. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.